I was photographing the ICTU anti-austerity demonstration of the 9th of February 2013 uh, at the front of the demonstration when I observed this scuffle we're about to see between uh, a small group of people ahead of the march chanting who sold us out, the union sold us out, and an increasingly large number of guarded that seemed determined to remove them from the front of the march. <laughs> This was one of a number of incidents uh, between groups of protesters on the march and Garda or two stewards are sometimes both working together uh, to try and control who was allowed on the march. A more serious incident in many ways, although it wasn't confrontational, was towards the end of the demonstration when the Garda and stewards worked together to lead a section of the anti-household tax campaign off the main body of the march and into Merrion Square Park and eventually um, out behind the stage. Now the sole purpose of that exercise seems to have been to prevent that block being visible at the front when David Begg got up to make his few remarks at the start, at, at the start of the rally at the end of the march. It's quite interesting that ICTU are that scared of having any sort of alternative voice being heard or being visible on this demonstration. A demonstration that really could be said to have been designed about not rocking the boat. You know, they talked in advance of them actually wanting to back up the government in the uh, negotiations with the ECB. To be frank, I think this chant of who sold us out, the union sold us out, misses the mark. The task we face is to convince our fellow workers to organise mass resistance and part of that story has to be organising within the unions because those are the mass organisations. But we have to be clear that we need to recreate a union movement whose primary function is to resist and obstruct attacks on our wages and conditions and get rid of this one that is so concerned with managing PR and silencing dissident voices. 